on guys, make sure we drive the reviews and welcome back to the sixth episode of Autofocus. And in this episode, I thought I was going to review or sort of give you a walkthrough of my 10th gen Civic FC and show you the mods and stuff that I've done to the car the past uh, two to three years. But today, a new item actually came in, a new performance upgrade part actually came in and it's right here. This is the GFB Diverter Valve Plus. And uh, thanks to a friend of mine who actually recommended this to me because I usually do not meddle with the diverter valve because I think the stock diverter valve is usually good enough especially on the Civic so I didn't have to meddle with it but however on the Zero Code I heard that this actually improves performance so I had to get my hands on one of these to actually check it out and see whether it has any performance improvements. So I heard that installing a better aftermarket diverter valve actually helps the car hold boost and also help the throttle response. So the reason I'm actually upgrading my diverter valve for the Sirocco is because the stock diverter valve, I heard there are some boost leaks and stuff like that. So upgrading a aftermarket diverter valve actually helps uh, eliminate that and also helps the car, the turbocharger to hold boost longer, more boost in fact. And actually I want to try to install this by myself. But however, looking at my setup now with the RA coils, I feel that there are going to be hiccups because the RA coils are pretty tall and uh, I'm going to have some trouble removing like the socket. I have extra stuff to remove. So the instructions that comes with the diverter valve plus, I think they are pretty redundant. So when buying a diverter valve from GFP, you actually have to check whether the item is original because there are tons of counterfeits out there selling at like one quarter of the price so i actually paid around 560 ringgit sort of 560 ringgit before shipping from the seller on shopee i usually don't buy stuff on shopee because i do not really trust shopee compared to lazada but anyways i did my research and i actually spoke to the seller asked him to send me pictures of the packaging because the difference between the original and the fake packaging is that the original packaging opens from the side but the fake ones open from the top just like a donut box or a cake box you know you open from the front but the original one opens from the side so i heard the color is a bit different but of course i do not have the fake one to compare the color so i just wanted to see how the packaging opens so you can see it opens from the side right here so actually i'll turn the camera around and show you what comes in the box all right guys so i uh, right here i have the gfb diverter valve box itself you can see go fast bits that's the meaning of gfb so let's take a look at the bag you can see it's actually made in australia all right let's uh, open it and take a look so unboxing experience you can see this box actually slides off on the side of course it came like this but i already actually took it out and checked the contents so you can see right here the inside sleeve you can see gfb learn more about the gfb product range so they make a couple of stuff including blow off valves for continental cars as well all right so let's take a look at what comes in the packaging so let me put that to the side so right here on the top we have an instruction manual so you can see GFB turbo management systems so this is actually installation instructions so you, if you have a 1.4 TSI engine the twin charge version you actually do have to get this part number which is T9355 so do take note of this when installing you see GFB diverter valve plus so on the inside you can see installation instructions so if this doesn't give you a good idea you can actually hit that qr code and get a video so they have a video on youtube is showing you how to install i'm not sure whether i'll be able to open up the ra coils but i'll try my best anyways if i really can't then i'll send it over to a shop to actually install it and get it professionally installed because i do not want to go breaking stuff again you can see installation of course my engine does not have the the top cover anymore because i have the RA coils and the top cover doesn't fit so you can see installation instructions are pretty straightforward basically it's a plug and play item but you do have to remove a bit here the intake pipe and stuff like that so that's the body for the instructions you do get a gfb sticker as well and then you get the diverter valve module so you can see right here dv plus very nice the foam is also pretty stiff which shows you that this is the original product because the fake ones are very soft according to the demonstration so you can see the parts right here you have this part you have the piston right here so you do have to oil it with some engine oil when you install it and then you have the spring as well right here so this is the spring I'm not going to take that out then you have another spring right here for different sides of the valve and last but not least two bolts which are allen screw heads not the torx ones that comes with the car so you do have to use the extension because 
the GFB Plus uh, technically is like taller so you do have to make sure that you use the included screws and included springs everything that is included in this package is good enough to get you up and running with uh, the gfb product all right so without further ado let me get this diverter valve installed and i will try to like fast forward and show you how i go through the install process uh, i hope everything goes smoothly if it does go smoothly i'll be very happy otherwise i'll just drop it over at the shop all right guys so as i thought there were going to be some hiccups there is a major hiccup because i do not have the t30 hit for the screw so i guess i have to hit to Vox auto garage again to actually get this installed what a bummer i wish i could install it myself but uh, i had t25 and i t40 i do not have t30 i don't know what's going on but the toolkit didn't come with t30 so it is what it is so you can see right here this is the screw this is t30 and this is t30 all these are t30s but i do not have the screw so actually if i had the screw i just have to remove this and take a pipe from here and then just make sure i remove this thick stick uh, holder thing here and then from there i probably need to remove one of the coils here because you see as i'm using ra coils you can see this thing is actually blocking me from removing the diverter valve because if you're using a stock coil you're not going to have a problem with removing this without removing the coil but however you see mine is like stuck right here so in order to remove uh, that the original diverter valve or the solenoid i should say i actually do have to remove a uh, coil so yeah it is what it is this is actually the easy process but however i do not have the the size for this screw head here it's four so i guess i have to head over to box auto garage and i'll see you guys when i reach there Alright guys, so finally we are done and that was a pretty long process actually. It's a good thing that I didn't go and meddle around with it. Uh, because they had to take out the coils, they had to take out some hoses. Because my my coils are RA coils, so you know RA coils are a little bit taller. And uh, it was more work than I anticipated. So I think for 50 ringgit it's uh, pretty fair because the whole process took around 40 minutes to install. But uh, it was a very smooth install. The GFB um, diverter valve fit perfectly like a glove. The space was adequate. I was worried that the RA coil would actually be blocking the socket for the solenoid but in fact it wasn't, it didn't block at all so it's a good thing and I'm very happy with my purchase but however I had to do some testing, drive it around and see whether there are any performance gains or any boost gains in fact for the turbo side of things. Alright so this has been a quick install, I will probably give you my feedback in the description below when I start to use it. Alright so thanks guys for watching, hope you guys like this episode of Autofocus. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.